All right, welcome back. 47 minutes now past the hour. Look at your screen. Could the biggest science project ever lead to the end of the world? Look at this animation on your screen. It's called the Hadron Collider. It's going to be turned on this weekend for the very first time, and it could unlock the secrets of the universe and its creation. But some fear that it could create a black hole capable of swallowing the entire Earth. That's the animation of the actual uh, Hadron Collider there. And joining me now is Dr. Michio uh, Kaku. Am I always saying that right? I hope I'm saying that That's right. That's right, Michio okay. Kaku. Okay. Right. It, it, you are a professor of theoretical uh, physics and the author of New York Times bestsellers, uh, Physics of the Impossible. Great book. Check it out. Okay. I'm very excited about this. It's a 17-mile mm -hmm. uh, build, this thing, underground, right? Explain mm -hmm. to us what we're actually talking about here. This machine is bigger than the city of Geneva, which is right next door. Protons will be circulating 17 miles in circumference in a ring. They'll be slammed together to recreate a piece of Genesis. We're talking about the recreating... The Big Bang Theory. This could show us the creation of the universe, That's right? That's right. On a very, very tiny scale, we're going to take a microscopic bit of the Big Bang and basically recreate it outside Geneva. Now, we're fearful that this could actually create, here's the black hole we're fearful that it could create. It could suck up Geneva, right, and we could lose the world. Brian has plans this weekend. To let him know, is, is the end of the world going to happen this weekend? Uh, the answer is no. Mother Nature slams the Earth with particles much more ferocious than anything that we can create with our pea shooter called the Large Hadron Collider. And the Earth is still here, and the Earth has been here for billions of years. We're not going to create many black holes in this machine. Now, we could have had this right here in the United States because, as you were telling me, Ronald Reagan first proposed having it built right here in the United States. Ronald Reagan had a dream, and that is that the United States should be number one in physics. This was the super collider to be built outside Dallas, Texas. Congress canceled that machine, and the forefront of physics has left the United States now and has gone to Europe just the way the critics sabotage Ronald Reagan's plan for a super collider. So Congress ruined it. We could have had that right here in the United States and not have to worry about going to Geneva. Let's throw up some facts on the screen. This is pretty incredible. This is the Hadron Collider. It cost $5.8 billion to build this thing. Um, 2,500 scientists are involved in there. Are you involved in this? That's right. In fact, all of us are excited by the fact that we could discover new physics. The secret of creation itself might be revealed by this machine. Now, I've heard if they don't find it, that this, if they, they fire this thing up, fire these protons at each other, mm -hmm. why 17 miles, first of all? Why do they need 17? miles of a circle to get these things sped up. It's like a race. The longer the race, the more energy you can build up, the more momentum you can feed. Every time it goes around, we kick the particles with more energy until we get up to trillions of electron volts. But remember that this is a pea shooter compared to cosmic rays in outer space. The energy of these so-called microscopic black holes wouldn't even light up a light bulb. Wow. All right. Dr. Michio Kaku, the uh, author of Physics of the Impossible, professor of uh, physics uh, and uh, New York Times bestseller. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Glad to Thanks be Thanks so much. Um, and, Brian, you don't have to worry about it this weekend. You, you plan.